what is up guys xdg here welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you guys how to create your own customized outfits in gta online using the save wizard and the gta save editor before we start i want to thank each and every one of you for 4k subscribers i really appreciate you guys rocking with my content thank you all so much with that being said let's get on with the tutorial all right so here on screen right now you'll see the xb3 hazard installer now there will be a download link in the description for this installer and it is absolutely free guys all right so right here we're going to install this save editor right here um, the size should be three or four point eight megabytes i don't know about this one right here i've never used this one but i guarantee this one right here works so you want to go ahead and hit install I went ahead and install right here because I already have it on my PC. So go right ahead and install that and I'll see you guys in the next step. All right guys, so after you have installed the GTA save editor, you should get this user interface right here. So there's a save editor for San Andreas, GTA 4 and GTA 5. Um, also note the version down here to the bottom right. This is the latest version as of today's date. If you are watching this video at a later date, the app version might be different. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click the GTA 5 one. All right, so when we open up the save editor, there's a bunch of options right here to the left. Uh, we won't go too in depth into these options right now. So for the outfits, you're gonna hit open file. And of course we don't have a file. So this is how you will extract a file to be read by the GTA save editor. You're gonna go ahead and open up Save Wizard. And of course we have our USB drive plugged into our computer with a fresh GTA save, all right? So this is an unmodded save pulled right at the beginning of the game as soon as you finish the prologue, literally the first spot you can save on the game. All right, so you wanna go ahead and double click right here and right click on this part and hit advanced mode. All right guys, so once the advanced mode opens, you wanna hit this icon right here, export to file. And you're just going to drop that file into your folder. Boom, that's it. You'll just close that out and minimize the save wizard UI for now. And you'll see the file we need appears in the folder. Now this is the format that the GTA save editor reads, all right? So you don't want your full PS4 save file, all right? You need to extract the data from a game save, all right? So this is it right here. We're just gonna double click. It'll ask if you wanna make a backup before editing, always select yes just in case something happens. All right, so right here, your GTA save data pops up in the save editor, all right? So you'll see Franklin and Lamar. This is actually the name of the game save. You'll see the progress made in the game. So everything should be identical right here to your game save data, all right? So everything should be pretty much the same here for this save. Now, depending on the save you use, this will be different, all right? All right, guys, so the very first thing you wanna do when you open the GTA save editor is go down to other there all right you're gonna see some director mode unlocks right here and these are for the animals you want to unlock the chicken hawk and of course you can unlock any animal you want right here all right but we just need one bird and we always go with our chicken hawk all right so then the second thing you want to hit is this little shirt icon right here and this is actually loading all of the components for your outfits so now the actor editor window opens. You'll see all of this stuff right here. This is where we will apply the components to our character, right? Just quickly to the right, you'll see an option to sign in. If you hit the drop down right here, you'll see shortlist actor one to 10. If you've ever been in director mode and you've been under the shortlist actors, you'll know the maximum actors that can be stored is 10. All right, so we'll start with shortlist actor one. All right, so we'll just do one for the purposes of this tutorial. You'll see ped here. You wanna hit main and the drop down for the model type. You wanna select multiplayer male model. It's free mode 01. Catalog type is beach bums and it'll automatically populate this one, the catalog as boardwalker, okay? All right, so you wanna go down here. Um, the face, you just leave that at the default. For the mask, you wanna look for um, anything with a Santa theme. Now, the most common one that works each and every time is the penguin. 
So we're going to select that one for the mask. And this is, you're going to use the penguin mask for all of your outfits. Um, of course, the mask will not appear on your online character once you have gotten it online. So don't worry about it. This is just used to transfer the outfit online. All right. So the here you leave that also at the default hands. Now you can choose your gloves right here. And there's all these um, options right here. Now, of course, you might you just see the words here. So you really want a visual representation. So what you do, you're going to hit the drop down right here. When it turns green, you're going to go to your keypad and use the up and down keys to go through all of the available gloves here. Now you will not find every single glove in the game right here. All right, so we'll select the heavy tundra right now. We'll just put together a simple outfit, guys. All right, like I said, if you know what you're looking for, you can search um, using the list here, but it's always easier to just hit right here. Keep your cursor over the default part right here. The drop down and you just cycle, cycle, cycle. Pretty easy. Right now I'm just holding it down so like I can see all of the components really quickly guys this is, this is just way easier in my opinion as you can see you have the joggers here there's the green joggers the orange joggers purple joggers pink joggers red joggers blue joggers gray joggers tan joggers white joggers all right it's pretty dope guys All right, so for now, we will select the black joggers. The parachute bag, uh, you can't put a parachute bag, guys. I'm going to go with the custom crew bag. I don't think you can get these bags in the game. All right, you might be going through here and you see your duffel bags and you're like, yo, the duffel bags are here, man. We can use duffel bags. No, um, the duffel bags have been blacklisted. So if you include duffel bag components on your modded outfit, the bag will not appear right for the most part these parachute bags will though so we're going to use a tan shoot bag for the shoes we're going to go for the deadlines so i pretty much know there's somewhere around here so i'm just going to do that cursor here and use our keypad to cycle i'm going to use these deadlines right here Tarso one. It's going to look for something really quickly. You will see this cop belt. Do not add this belt to your outfit. It will not transfer online. All right. You can play around with the others, but I know for sure the cop belt is blacklisted and it will literally cancel your modded outfit. All right, for Tarso 1, we're actually going to use a scarf. I've never used this scarf before. It'll be interesting to see if it'll transfer online. All right, so for armor, we got all the armor in the game, pretty much. It's pretty dope, man. I personally like the army armor variant. I think it's pretty dope. And it's also exclusive with the um, four ammo compartments to the front right there. All right, so we're going to go with the this tan armor right here. Right here, we have the crew logos. This is logos for racing suits. Some of, most of these work, so feel free to try them out. Now, this really adds a lot of spice to the outfit as well. Don't forget guys, some of this stuff is blacklisted, so it might not appear on your outfit, but you can try them out. We're going to go with the Crowex racing suit, Tarso 2. I'm looking for the Tundra. Just a basic, simple tryhard outfit right here. All right, so we're going to go with the skirmish for the hat. It's not a lot of options in the hats right here. Can go with the heavy knight but that's really basic a 
very cool one that I know works for sure is the pilot gear. So you have the headphones and the microphone right there. It looks pretty dope. So I'm gonna go with that one. And for the glasses, let's just choose something really cool, simple. Hawaiian snow black. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. All right, so once you're done, you just wanna go back through these just to make sure everything is what you selected. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna to go to this little icon right here to the top right. If you hover over it, you'll see extract data. You wanna extract the data and it'll say shortlist actor one. You wanna save that. All right, and you're gonna do that for each of your shortlist actors, guys, all right? From here, we're gonna close this and you wanna save your file. So that's why you made a backup. So you're good to go to overwrite the file. So you're just gonna hit save file right here and it saved pretty quickly. You're just gonna hit okay. All right, so for now, we will go back to the save wizard. So with your save still on your USB drive, you're gonna double click here, right click again, hit the advanced mode. Once advanced mode opens, you're going to select the import file this time. You're going to import that file, which has been overridden by the GTA save editor with your modded outfit. From here, you wanna make sure your first zero is highlighted and just hit zero. Hit continue on the warning message and just go ahead and hit apply. All right, modifications successfully applied. So now we go to our PS4. All right guys, so of course we ejected our USB drive from our PC and put it into our PS4. So we're gonna go application save data management, save data on USB storage device, copy to system storage, and you're gonna select your save file. And right, so from here, we just wanna start up GTA 5. All right guys, so right here, I've loaded into story mode and I actually know this is my modded save. Uh, you might not load right into your modded save. What you wanna do is hit options, go to game, and you wanna hit load game and select your modded save, all right? It's really important you are on your modded save and you might not load in like I did, all right? So just keep that in mind. All right, so from here, I can go to director mode and check out my outfit. Now your outfit will be under shortlist actors. You just hit that. All right, guys, so this is the modded outfit we just created in the GTA save editor. So we know it's here. So we're gonna exit to story mode. We're gonna hit options, online, and start an invite only session. What we wanna do is pull up the map and look for our time trial. No, of course, the time trial spawns at different locations periodically. So you have to find wherever it's at when you do it. All right, so we're gonna start the time trial, hit options, online, leave GTA online. We are in director mode. Now it is time to do the bird glitch. We wanna hit actors, animals, and uh, go down to the chicken hawk. Oh, it looks like we unlocked all of the animals here. Okay, no problem. We just need the chicken hawk. All right guys, we're gonna make our way over to our favorite spot of all time for this bird's annihilation. And actually, okay, we got ran over. All right, so there we have it, the wasted screen. Um, that only took about 17 minutes of recording. All right, so anyway, now that we have successfully killed the bird, we are on the black screen of death right here. Once you have that little circle rolling in the bottom right, you're gonna hold your touchpad, bring up the interaction menu, hit up on the D-pad, then hit X and launch director mode. I'm gonna go down to the shortlist actors. There we have our modded outfit we just created and we're just gonna walk out. 
all right so you should see all of the pieces of course we are in the director mode right now so what we want to do is go ahead and quit director mode all right so from right here once we have quit director mode we are back in story mode and we are in our outfit you're going to hit the options menu and start an invite only session So right here, as it spawns, you should see yourself just for a sec in the outfit, then it'll boot you back to story mode. Just hit X to continue. So once you saw yourself in the outfit at that part, you know you did it. So let's just get booted back to story mode. And immediately start back up the invite only session. All right guys, so everything actually transferred except the parachute bag. The pilot helmet, actually I messed that up when I spawned in and I actually equipped um, an earpiece by mistake. So that took it away before I could save the outfit. But make sure it doesn't happen to you guys by immediately saving the outfit. So even if you do mess it up, you'll have the outfit saved. Anyway guys, look out for a pet editor tutorial coming right after this one. I'm just gonna show you guys what's in the pet editor and the components and what have you. Right now, I don't know how to get those pet outfits online. There is some secret method, but it's really top secret. No one's coming out with it, but at least I can show you guys what's in there. And that video will be dropping very soon, all right? Anyway, it's your boy XDG. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn the Yay. notification bells on so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.